uh, during the uh, Weather Podcast Month. And I'm going to bring in Chris Jackson because, Chris, you actually represented us last week on the Stormfront Freaks. And I think they had you talking a little bit about your adventures of storm chasing. And to kind of parlay that into it, you went storm chasing over the weekend uh, again uh, in the uh, the South. Yeah, it, yeah, Scott, it makes, uh, gosh, it makes like four storm chases in like a month and a half. That's all been in the Mississippi area. Uh, so, you know, that's what's again been getting hit pretty, na- uh, pretty nasty. And, uh, you know, thinking about everybody, especially down in Lee County in Alabama uh, with the, you know, the deadly EF4 tornado. But uh, yeah, this past weekend chased again, another chase in Mississippi that ended up in, I ended up in Tennessee there for a short while, but a uh, long story short, uh, went over to Oxford, uh, put my little forecast together and felt really good about it. And uh, thought storms would form in Northern Mississippi. Um, early in the day and, and that's what happened. And they were able to actually interact with uh, some upper level features that were uh, moving through the area. Actually produced a, a EF zero tornado that I was less than a mile from right behind it as it approached Faulkner, uh, Mississippi. And it eventually moved up into Tennessee and the storm motion started to get really fast, uh, you know, over 50 knots. And there's just no way you can keep up with storms like that. So I went back down south and, uh, I, you know, called another two storms before it got dark and uh, then headed back home. So, uh, you know, another tornado for this year, uh, you know, 2019 starting off pretty busy, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a busy few weeks. I know, uh, you know, just with that chase this weekend, it was uh, 1,468 miles over not even two days. Chris, I will say this. I know you saw your close tornadoes, but you got some amazing lightning photos out of this trip. That was pretty cool. And we've got one showing up right now, but and you've been on it with these lightning shots lately. Yeah, I, I got to give credit on uh, Mike Blinsky. You know, I got to meet him out in Nebraska last year, and we, we chatted for a minute. And, and he's put some great uh, videos on YouTube, uh, you know, about how to capture better lightning and stuff. And, you know, just trying to compose shots better and uh, be really set up for it. And thankfully, the, the topography in central Mississippi was really nice, uh, you know, for that storm this weekend. And I uh, was able to set the camera up and had a great, you know, classic supercell with a nice wall cloud, little funnel cloud there, and, and some great. There were, there were a lot of positive strikes coming out of that storm. You know, the positive lightning bolts, you, really big. They last, you know, upwards almost to a second, it seems like. You know, uh, those, those lightning bolts are, are just massive in comparison to a you know, negatively charged uh, lightning bolts. So trying to get there, working on it. Well, talking about tornadoes, last night, uh, I'm sure if you were looking on Twitter, if you're a weather follower, that is, uh, some tornadoes out in New Mexico and Texas, and that was spawned from a big storm system. Funny enough, uh, this time uh, back in 1993, most of you in the southeast remember the blizzard of 93, the superstorm of 93. Uh, it's kind of got some uh, different names to it, but it uh, produced a lot of snow and a lot of wind on the east coast. Uh, 